Today on Toy Domination, Ken gets his O-ring checked, Steve admits he has a new toy smell addiction, and Dom reveals his furry cosplay. Hey, what's up? It's Toy Domination. Joe is dead. Late to the show. He may be popping in later on, but I've got some special guests while I solo co-host today, and I'm going to go ahead and drag them out from backstage. We have from the Delta 17 team, Ken from Toy Connections and Steve. Ba -ba What's up, guys? Ba -ba Hello. Yeah. <laughs> your, How you doing, your man? Air horn, your air horn went down. Okay. Ba -ba -ba <laughs> so let's go on. Ba -ba -ba <laughs> hey, what's up? So glad you guys could be here. Um, and I am very excited to be able to see both of you again at Joe Fest. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's Two years in a row. Time. Yeah. Last year was my first, and I'm I'm very excited to be able to go back. And I've actually got a little toy domination table um, set up for this time too. So hopefully I'll be able to like lean over and wave to you guys down the aisle. Nice, nice. We'll be chucking stuff at each other, trying to play catch. Perfect. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. All sweet. right. Um, so you guys have some stuff that you want to reveal, right? Or tease at as well. Um, your line has just gone up on your store. We got Joe Fest. Uh, and so we're going to plug that stuff as the main part of the show. But first, let's cover some uh, some toy news. Do you guys have your hats ready? Uh, Which one? I've, I've got the gel in my hair, so I can't put a hat on top of that. Otherwise, okay. it's kind of double redundant. But yes, hat we can do something. Just, Ken, just get a hat. On the show, you didn't that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God! There we go. There we go. Full aviator, man. That's uh, that's a rig right there. What are you wearing there, Steve? Uh, this is the modern version. I have the old version right up there. Mm -hmm. um, thankfully, I worked at a surplus store for while and they'd get these in and i'd just trade gi joe's for it because the guy was a gi joe dude and i'd basically get uh i got a couple of them for free that is awesome yeah that's fantastic i love it uh well you've just tipped the scale so now we're gonna have to wear uh aviator helmets for the rest <laughs> of our uh i got a spare one you do <laughs> i'll pass it to you uh hey so real quick let's hit the chat up so we got bjorn with shmebby lock uh, Stiggy in 360, my body is ready for Delta 17 to blow our minds. His yeah. body is ready. Good. I wonder what he did for prepping for that. Um, I didn't do any preparation at all, so I'm definitely going to throw out my back. Uh, <laughs> Better A Bob, also going to Joe Fest. Spoon Killer, anyone getting their order yet? Um, I think Ken. Oh, that's a, actually a good response for the chat here, too. Um, Aaron E. Nichols, mine is on the way. Steven 375, what's up? R.I.P. Joe. He's only dead inside, though. Rolando Flores. Hold on. Famine. Did you just beat Joe up in the parking lot before? Joe beats me up. Let's be clear on that, okay? Starboy Station. Dale, what's up, buddy? And hold on. I'm still going here. Joey Adams. Yes, Joey. How, how's the new house settling in, man? Gap After Dark. What's going on? I I hope you appreciate the fact that I dragged out that juice box costume just for you, Gap, because... Uh, that uh, you are probably the only person who got that inside joke. Uh, and it's going to keep going here. Mr. Wonderful. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, and the hey. chat continues to build, but I'm going to go ahead and transition there. So um, before we get into you guys' news, Ken, I know you're not really much of a modern collector, but you do straddle both six and four inch, right? Yes. Yeah. You're very much like me. Like, I, I'm not scale biased. I jump both sides. Steve, are you? You're mostly just four inch, right? Classic. Uh, no, I, I buy whatever's cool for sure. I like okay. six inch. I like uh, a lot of stuff. All right. So on that, I don't know if you guys have heard of this line yet, but it's Galactic Valor. Uh, uh, and I am it's a Kickstarter. Okay. okay. I I'm in. Yes, I love these guys. They've got six days left. Uh, they're just twenty thousand short, which sounds like a lot. But that's not really, I mean, Morphinauts funded in like the last two days, uh, Hidden Force wow. funded in like the last, very last day of Joe Fest. Um, yeah. I, I'm in. I think these guys are cool. AWOC too. AWOC also. Yeah, 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 exactly. So those guys are kind of going neck and neck. Unfortunately, like it's never great for two indie guys to go, but I, I'm excited. I think these are awesome. My boys were into them. Um, I'm definitely really hoping to get these. So if you guys are sitting on the fence wondering, jump in. 
I don't know if this scratches either of you two itch your two itches. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we'll we'll have a closer look. I mean, Galactic Valor was all over my social media for a while. I was a bit focused on AWOC because Galactic Valor is still active, right? Like yes, that Kickstarter yeah, yeah. still active, so you can still catch up a little bit, right? So, yeah, yeah. Um, this was all over our chat group, so I'm somewhat familiar. Let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go check them out. Um, th this. <laughs> I don't think they're going to make the. They've got a lot of cool troop builders, a lot of aliens. It is six inch. I know that differ, that uh, sways a lot of four inch collectors away from it, but um, they've got a lot of cool stuff, comic books, you know. And then where the big stretch goals? They actually rearranged the stretch goals after hearing some fans um, say, "Hey, I, I really prefer having these guys up front." So they kind of rearranged their troop builders to the stretch goals. And this monster, I'm not sure we're going to make it to the monster, but this thing just looks cool as anything, man. Like. I, I really just want to get that. I'll be like, uh, you know what? Yeah. I like all the figures, but I'll take two of those, please. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, pretty awesome. I love love it when you guys, I, I rope you into this as well, when any toy lines go big on something, right? Like it's a big yeah. stretch for everybody. Um, I absolutely love it. So, uh, hey, what's up, Zazel? Thank you so much. Hey, so, Zazel. That's, uh, that's just wanted to plug them really quick. They got six days left. Uh, I'm in on it. So I'm really hoping they launch. And I, you know, my heart goes out to any, any Kickstarter tour line. Oh, we lost Ken. There uh -oh. it is. You're good. You're good. Um, and then for the four inch collectors out there, I don't want to spend a lot of time in the news. So I just want to kind of like quickly. No, do it, man. Do what you want to do. Whatever you got to do. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no, rush. I, Delta 17 is more. Is more nah. yeah, yeah. So here we go. So we're going to show. Um, for Joy Toy here, okay. So I, I'm big into Joy Toy, and they have these promotional or the army builders, whatever you call them, right? They have these waves that have already started coming out. Uh, this other wave they hit this year that is up, it was on pre order and now it's hitting, but then they just dropped two more waves here. Um, I'm just like, man, you're killing me. Dude, these guys are marauders eating up my money here. So they've got uh, this cool, you know, female warrior here. Um, pretty generic, right? It's got some good modern day kind of loadout kit. You guys nice. can see it, right? Hold on, make sure I'm up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so pretty cool. Head swappable, right? But the rest of the layout's pretty awesome. I love that it's just zippers on the bottom, pants. Like, I, I have this buck in a couple places. So that's one of them. Then they start throwing in, and the jetpack figures themselves, I've got a bunch of those, are really awesome. This jetpack's kind of plug in the background. I love those crazy rifles they have. Tons of armor. They don't have this one doesn't have the exoskeleton on it that made it really hard to move. So these are pretty, pretty solidly articulate. Yep. And then intergalactic bounty hunter. Um, this is hunter i believe they just changed it to intergalactic uh they did them in it's red really halo it was really, really halo-esque yeah, yeah 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 with that helmet absolutely um and then yeah. here's here we go so this dude with the skeleton armor he's got this weird like hip girdle piece that's a little hard oh, yeah. to like hold yeah. on to so that does limit some of the articulation there you can kind of see it poking off the hip there and these exoskeletons like plug along it and they're kind of finicky once you start moving them but otherwise totally solid the shoulder pieces don't get in the way they actually move pretty smoothly so i i really wow. dig those builds yeah i love the jetpack guys that's pretty then, ambitious that's nice yeah. and these, so what's awesome is these are just troop builders right so they're 18 bucks here it is again with the shoulder rig they just swapped out and these are all reused pieces like these have been in previous waves they just mix and match them you can see there's very few paint apps on these, but that's how it keeps the, the price down. So you just, you know, just army build them. Yeah. Um, yep. And then again, I, yeah. So I don't love that helmet. It's just kind of, I don't know, like 1980s, but I'll just head swap it. And then the last one for this wave, uh, again, kind of like Ken with your halo vibes also with that helmet or eh, maybe a weird knockoff uh, Boba Fett. I don't know. There we go. Mandalorian. Yeah. Yeah. And then these guys were so that helmet that he's wearing was on another really popular figure who was in green. I don't remember what his name was. I, I don't care about the names at all. I'm just like, give me the toys. Um, mm -hmm. but they yeah. did it black this time. And this was with the red skull troopers, which like sold out, never came back in. So it's awesome to see this come back. Um, and again, it's got some exoskeleton pieces on there. But uh yeah, I'm so excited for this line. Wow, that looks really wild. Yeah, there's some good stuff there. Yeah, I'm. Uh, 
probably I'm probably gonna go broke uh, getting. <laughs> That's it. I just want to cover just two quick pieces of news there. I know some of our chat already been talking about this four inch, and I just want to plug yeah. uh, Galactic Valor one more time for the. I uh, mean, there's there's a lot going on, right? Like Dan Klingensmith has got his um, creating GI Joe volumes fourteen and fifteen Kickstarter right now, which is going to cover a lot of unproduced um, concepts. So that one right now, it's basically a, a double book Kickstarter. Um, oh, you know the. Um, Total Toy Books is um, doing a re-release uh, along with Skeletron for the old uh, Action Force, yes. um, Battle Action Force books. And as we mentioned, the AWOC Kickstarter just ended last night. I didn't back it directly, but Adam Drake lives in this, from Highly Articulated, lives in the same province as me. And he said, just whatever you want, just add it to my Kickstarter order. We'll figure it out. So I sent him a shopping oh, list awesome. and uh, he hasn't billed me yet. I think he's going to wait till the backer kit to send me uh, to uh, cool. send me a bill. So there's a lot going on right now yeah yeah, so. yeah. Uh, we covered a walk in a previous uh video i i really really like that line the fox the rabbit the chameleon really yeah. cool um like my boys are are all about those anthropomorphized uh animals they're are all into them i love mm -hmm. the big uh brute ones they've got going on now too mm -hmm. oh i want that uh, elephant man that elephant looks oh i know cool. it's really awesome Oh, yeah. the Mamba? Yeah. Th yeah. That could get unlocked during backer kit because they got the 352,000 during the backer kit oh, and Mamba awesome. unlocks at 410. That's doable during backer kit, you know? So can you still hop on in the backer kit? Because I was going to jump in and I just, I got busy and I forgot. Now it's over. Yeah. Um. I'll just, I'll, we'll figure yeah. it out. I'll, I'll, ask, Jason. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask Jason. Yeah. I'll ask Jason. Um, do you find the army builders joy toy a little more so the first wave that they made was like i had two break they were this weird stiff dry plastic and i was like ew i don't know so on a i on a risk i bought the next two figures from the next wave that came out and they're great they're totally solid they have really nice coating to the plastic they don't have that cheapness i haven't had any breaks to them on like the first wave um so i'm in i hope they don't change whatever formula they did for that wave i hope they don't change it because uh, they did it right then. Uh, and yeah, nice. this was my fear that they were going to leave, that Joy Toys going more and more Warhammer because they're making a ton of money off of it. So I'm like, well, there goes all those lines. But this is like the fourth Army Builder wave they pushed out this year. They have two modern ones too. So uh, wow. I love it. Yeah, having to cut back. Yes, exactly. I'm not getting full waves of those. I'm going to cherry pick and then uh, multi, multi buy. Hey, what's up, Payne? And Tim joining as well. So all right um titan titanfall game titanfall yeah oh, yeah I missed titanfall yes. great there you go cool all right um that's all for the news guys let's uh let's get the heck out of here all right so we're gonna talk some delta 17 here for those who don't know what delta 17 is i'm not sure where you've been uh but actually I'm going to pass it off to you guys to describe for anyone who's jumping in now cold in this little belt. What is this toy line? Ooh. <laughs> what is this toy line? O rings. Oh, <laughs> All right. You want me to grab this one? Sure. Whoever. Well, you've got the aviation helmet. I'm just looking at that right now. Sure. Go for uh, it. Okay. All right. All right. Delta 17. Uh, we're an O ring uh, style toy. So it's three and three quarter inch, just like your old GI Joes from the eighties and the nineties. Uh, we've added some innovations like swivel wrists. So it, when there's a foregrip on a rifle, you can actually swivel that wrist to, to pop onto that foregrip. So you can have both hands on the gun at the same time. So that's very nice. There's a couple of figures that are supposed to be like uh, six foot four or six foot two, two or whatever. So they are actually four inches high as opposed to three and three quarter um we have a retro vibe going on here but we've we've upped our game about 10 or 20 percent in the sculpt factor and the uh the paint apps and all that stuff so you'll see that it's a it's a just a touch above what you would expect from the 80s um i hope that you guys will like it we do have a comic book coming out the digital version will be free online It'll bring all these guys to life and you'll see like, oh man, I love that guy. He kicks butt and this girl, she's crazy and all that other stuff. Um, so the comic hopefully will be done in about uh, five weeks, we're hoping. But you know, we, we gave those promises about opening our store and uh, yeah, that took a bit longer. 
but yeah, there's there's 12 figures. Um, two of them, there's one of them is, is an additional repaint in a different ethnicity, just on the skin tone. So that's it with the Army Builder Delta Trooper. Yes. This, so is Dom Saber, this is Dom Saber, as I, far as I know. I was about to say, I may, yeah. I may have a couple of those. I may have one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they're all kitted up. A lot of our guys, uh, everything that they have can be stowed on the figure, except for when we're giving you like an extra thing, like uh, Rooster has a spare antenna in case you lose one. You're not going to be able to stow that on the figure. He can um, hold it in his other hand. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Run around, whip people with it, right? <laughs> yes. So, um, and what you, you talked about some of the other uh, updates to the '80s toys too. Like those uh, those rotating wrists are a game changer. I did a review yeah. video a while ago covering those. It's awesome still to be able to like, oh, you can actually hold your weapons with both hands. Like it's great. I know it's it's wonderful. We love it. Uh, yeah, it does cause a little bit of confusion though because if you check <laughs> the Instagram and the Facebook right it can happen and you know you know where I'm, both of you know where i'm going with this because you've held the figures before where um the elbow may be turned backwards on the figure out of the factory and then the wrist is turned forwards and i i had someone tell me that oh i got three figures with backwards elbows what do you, you know what's going on there i'm like turn the elbow okay now turn the wrist all right we're good we're good so um no. it can happen that the factory misassembles stuff but that's going to be a lot less often than having, you know, an elbow that just turned backwards in the tray. So that's, that's one of those yeah. things that, yeah. you know, it's uh, be just be wary of that before you send an inquiry to uh, to us. That's all. That's why that video went up last night. That made me that laugh. Exactly and something. I couldn't I, I made the comment on, on IG, too. It's like thinking that the elbow is backwards when the wrist can turn is the same as thinking you got a right curve banana as opposed to a left curve banana. Just like, just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. And like, I, yeah. I, I replied right away saying <laughs> that, uh, saying that I'm going to use that quote. Okay. I, uh, full, full disclosure. One of our friends at gridiron studios asked me this, asked me the question. He goes, did I get two right elbows? I'm like, turn the elbow. Oh, okay. I got, it, I got, it. he got it right away. He just yeah. inquired. He didn't accuse anything. He just said, what's going on here? I'm like, I'll tell you what's going on. Let me tell usually, you what's going on. Usually it's, it's yeah, usually it's when people are a little bit tired or distracted, and you know, that's understandable. And right? I knew he would be because he had a lot of kits to do recently. Yeah. So I, I expected that question from somebody who just opens it and puts it aside and then looks at it later at the table and goes, wait a second, what's going on here? So <laughs> yeah. So and you guys had you guys had a delay because uh, Delta 17 was actually flagged as a toy, correct? Wasn't that the problem? Was that was like, yeah. hey, this is a toy. Like, tell yes. me, tell me about that. Like, oh, was that man. flattering as well? Well, it's it, it worked out okay because now we have a an age rating of eight plus as opposed to fourteen plus, right? But there it was it was kind of strange because they're thinking that you know this might be have lead in the paint and all that stuff, and it's like, well, if a factory is worth its salt at all they're going to avoid that by all means possible because that would shut them down. They'd be like millions of dollars in, you know, they could get sued at the wazoo. Right. So th this isn't a fly by night factory. It's uh, the one that did star Wars black and GI Joe classified for years. So it's, it's a good factory. I, I also love the idea that there could be lead in the paint. So we don't want like, like the maturity level of eight, to 14 like that's when they stop worrying about lead in the paint it's like yeah yeah ones aren't sticking toys in their mouth and sucking on them you know what i mean like okay, yeah right so, so, well yeah, yeah and the, the thing is all of our figures already say 14 plus on them yeah yeah right oh so, there you go yeah right so it's like whether they're rated for eight plus it doesn't really matter because our package says <laughs> that you know right so that it, it, it's a bit unfortunate so now it's kind of like double redundant like we've done this thing to get it for for um age range for eight for for eight plus but it still says 14 plus now if we're gonna get it to big box retail in the distant future that will help because by that point in time we'll need to print new cards right and by that point yeah, it'll already yeah. be rated for eight plus which is good so we don't have to go in the dvd aisle we can go straight into the kids aisle having said that we're a ways off well, right. yeah, ambitions though. And by that point, um, you may want to add drop testing and sharpness point testing and everything, and that's going to change the, the the degree of our PVC and all that on top of all that. So, yeah. Hey, what's up? Thanks for joining, man. Uh, man, back to back, you've got some endurance, Ooh, my friend. That's who I was talking about earlier. I just mentioned Dan Klingon Smith. Oh, so, cool. Yeah. And then for guys like Bjorn here, who will also be at Joe Fest, um, are you selling these at Joe Fest? Yeah, we better. <laughs> we better. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll have we'll have full inventory and some extras, you know, decals and different things. And I hope that the comic is ready in printed form to be sold as well. So uh, we'll have a we'll have one exclusive at Joe Fest. There should be some leftovers for people who can't make it. Uh, we made a, a fair amount of of quantity of them. And is it, uh, we'll, is it a secret? Can you not tell me? Is it a secret? Well, it's a repaint. It's a repaint go. of a certain figure. We don't really want to say which one it will be. Okay. You know, because uh, that would just kind of let the cat out of the bag, right? Oh no. So that would be. But but we're going to take this this one figure we don't know which one it is and we're going to revert him back to his original color scheme that we had dreamed of way back in, in day one uh they're 18th, inch, joey 118 yeah, yep. um that's awesome man and then here so and then for those of you who aren't like I, you know joey bjorn all those two i think the other big news was that you guys recently just uh brought your store up too correct yeah, not too long ago. Uh, what was it last Friday? Yeah. Friday, pretty much at noon Pacific. So yeah, yeah. Look at that blister, dude. The blister card art was really nice too. I actually I saved two of mine. All the rest are gone. Oh, rooster! I never got rooster or land. Oh, no. Sorry. Yeah, I've got to go back for this guy here, man. But here they are up on the site. Oh, he's got the little dog. I completely forgot to circle back for this guy. All right, well. Let me go ahead and add to carts. There we go. <laughs> what did you get off me? You got a few off me. You got a couple of green shirts off me. The Delta squads. Oh, no, got I've got, others off I me. have eight, ten figures right now. You yeah, do. So. I sent you two different orders. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. here they are. They're all up online right now. There's all the good guys. And here's the ret retrograd. Um, yeah. Too bad to do here. I, this is, I think, the Thunder Battalion honestly was my sleeper hit i was like yeah, okay i'll get this guy here let me blow him up here real quick um but honestly every time i go back to this figure i'm just like i really really like this guy like he is really fun yeah he's been our best seller really yeah. i'm not well i guess i shouldn't be surprised like yeah the double uh the double gosh drop down shields are really cool um yeah i love this one yeah, and just yeah. so everyone knows, he's packaged with the belt order on backwards. So it, it's meant to be turned around, but they packaged it that way uh, by accident. But in a way, it's kind of nice because it shows off some features that there's some yeah. details instead of that ugly uh, belt buckle in the front. But, it, you know, the, the belt buckle is functional. So that's just how mm -hmm. it works. So oh, here, here you go. go. Here's Let's answer this question. question first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, here you go. Yeah, we're looking at that right now. It's a really good yep. idea. Someone else brought it up in a chat uh, about a yes. week ago, and I was like, I had never thought of that. That's a great idea. So whoever that was, thank mm. you. Um, yep. It, it would be good to to do that for sure. So, Dom, you'll be happy to know, or maybe a little weirded out to know, that the green shirts, the uh, Delta A and Delta B, it's interesting because they're the exact same figure, but with different yeah. skin color, right? Uh, they are. It's funny because there are two lowest sellers individually but they're kind of the same figure right so yeah, you yeah, add yeah. them together they tie the thunder battalion as basically the best seller oh, like wow. kind of yeah. off each day so do you consider the delta squad as one figure or do you consider it as two right i don't think steve and i are surprised like because you you've split it in two so technically it's going to become your your lowest oh, seller yeah. just because you're dividing sure. the audience some will say right. oh that's cool i want the dark skin that that's kind of different oh okay the, the 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 light skin came up first on my order i'll, I'll get that one you know mm -hmm. yeah. that. so uh four chest has entered the chat um the, yeah buy so, six or more get 10 percent off if you want to get that trooper pack just so right you know. yeah there's a that's, there's a discount code uh delta that's right. 10 off so. delta 10 off but yeah you'll have to make shift it like you'll have to add six to cart or you know five of that and one of something else it won't be there's no troop pack um which i know is what you're suggesting it's a little bit different but yes <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> it would be. Yeah. I'm only two. Yeah, I just here's the Delta Troopers that they're referencing to. By the way, um, yes, these are my favorites. Uh, I'm so I saw these at Joe Fest, and what was distinctive about them is the helmets. Like the helmets yes. are very uh, <coughs> modern esque, but you know, advanced, which has really jumped out to me. The yeah. fact that that mass stows in the pack, the fact that the missile stow on the pack, I was like, "Yep, I need these guys." So, um, <laughs> and I'm. I, 
I'm actually going through like an O-ring purge right now for my huge collection. Hey, Ken, I think this back or this elbow was shipped. Uh, See, there shipped. we go. Exactly, um, exactly what we're talking about. Uh, but, it's defective, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Throw it, throw it in the trash and I'll go. <laughs> yeah. um, so we're going through an O-ring purge right now. But, you know, my boys, though, we still have these guys out. And I asked them, I was like, well, what's the difference between these O-rings and that? They're like, oh, these look better. I'm like, okay, fair enough. Like that was yeah. as simple as that. Um, yeah. For me, like, yeah, here we go. This was, uh, this is Tristan's uh, here. I don't remember your guy's name because as soon as Tristan took him over, that's all I remember was his character's name, but he loves a skull face. So cool. Yeah. What does he call yeah. him? Um, he just calls him Flynn, to be honest. And which is funny because nice. like, you know, wow. your brother's name, your brother's name is Finn though. You don't think it's yeah. confusing? He's yeah. like, no, no, I like Flynn. I'm like, okay. So <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah like super fun. Yep. Yeah, I watched your purge video the other day. It was good. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I tried to reach into the screen and be like, I'll take that, then I'll take that, then here's five so, bucks. So here's what's funny about that. All right. So I, I had said, Hey, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk trades or you know friendships or anything yep. like that, but I I'm gonna recant that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a members only show, I think, or stream or link or something where I'm gonna like, hey. All you guys, here you go. Just choose from this pile. Everybody gets like two figures or something. I don't know what it is. Like call dibs. And for anyone who's a member on the channel or anybody who's a friend of the channel, I'll let you guys jump in and be like, hey, I just want these couple figures. I'll send a link later on once I get this pile organized. But right. I kind of I kind of walked that back a little bit. I was like, well, if I just give friends something that's different. So um, I'm just going to, or once I get it all on a table, I'll be like, here you go. What do you guys see? Just send me a message. So uh, be prepared for that. It'll come out. Oh, that's yeah. nice of you but yeah yeah, yeah. Thanks, and man. then ken asked if i was going to sell anything at joe fest i think at this point i am because i've got um a big old bbi blackhawk uh you know from the, the like it's full 118 scale it's gigantic and i've got like three dragonflies and all this Sold. stuff and i'm like oh will yeah really, will you okay well i'll bring it and i've got the abrams tank and um wow. a bunch of modern stuff that i'm just like i don't want these like modern looking things i like sci-fi so yeah i'll be yeah, yeah. um steve a, a little birdie whispered in my ear and said they wanted to bring you something for joe fest but they didn't want you to carry it on the plane I'm so driving. i said i said steve's driving they said even better so apparently you're getting a little something but in order for it to Aww. fit in your truck Aww. you'll probably probably have to sell a couple of things at joe fest. Uh -oh. <laughs> i don't I think know we, 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 we have to sell that ex yeah we have to sell, sell that exclusive and a few things here nice <laughs> It, it is nice. it, it is a great time to jump on o-rings too so here's what here i'm gonna ask a, a uh i don't think it's a heated question or anything like that but a lot of times we have like a kickstarter on and they chose six inch right and they say that's what the market drives you a six inch is what the market drives and even some of them like regretfully like i wish i had gone four inch but everything says i should have gone six inch i'm like okay fair enough right i love the toy regardless um yeah. you guys went four inch but you went o-ring right so that's like uh, a retro callback correct right was yeah. there was there ever a thought in your mind that you would go with modern sculpt and go into four inch no. Ooh, modern four inch no no yeah. okay why is no. that uh it's it's just my personality i mean okay. i i love the the weight the shine the the hardness the heaviness of uh, of the o-ring figure to me like <clears throat> i was explaining on a different podcast that uh like if you were to walk into the bush and you found a small pile of toys, you know, I, I think sort of like a magpie would, you know, my, my eyes would gravitate towards the, the shine of the, of the O-ring and just the feel of it. And like, I've been giving a few away to some kids, like at family gatherings oh, and stuff. Yeah. And man, they've, they've never seen anything like it and they love it. And I, I got texts later, you know, like my boy hasn't, it's been like two days now. He hasn't put it down once and it's like wow you know awesome. so it's it's a different family of toys i love all manners of toys i love six inch i love four inch modern i love all of that stuff um sometimes i just gravitate towards this because sometimes i don't like things to be too over articulated sometimes i like sometimes with the four inch modern the proportions are a bit off they're a bit too thin and too tall and that's you know i like uh, i don't know that it just doesn't do it for me, I guess. It's a personality thing, really. No, that makes sense. Um, that that's interesting too, because like again, uh, from from certain Kickstarters, right? They're kickstarting it. They're dependent upon appeasing to the crowd to get it funded. I mean, in a way, so are you, right? If you, I know you oh, yeah. went a different path, but at the same time, if it doesn't work in the back end, um, so but you know the the idea that the market 
says six inch, which which arguably I would say that may be the case, right? But I would also argue that there is a market for four inch and that just needs to be filled. And I think maybe O rings is that breaking in point because like you dealt yeah. is a good example of that too, right? Well, sure. I mean, at the end of the day, like we're all selling products here, whether you're doing the Kickstarter up front or you're selling later on. Um, we hope to catch people's attention and show them that, hey, we did this right. We think that you'll really like it and appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, if if six inch is the way of the future, so be it. But um, we're gonna we're gonna occupy our corner of the sandbox, and we're gonna yeah. do it as as best as we can. And I, I think that over time, people will be like, you know, that's some really good stuff over there. I agree. I oh, go ahead, Ken. Oh no, just was well, just gonna say that. See, the, hey, Steve's hey, big what's dream. Up, Travis? Oh, Travis here. Cool. Um, hey, yeah. Thank so. Steve's big dream was always to do the hind, right? Mm -hmm. And that lends itself far better to the 118 scale than it does to the 112 scale, oh, yeah. right? And if you're going to build the initial, like, I'm not going to say we're going to build a whole line around the hind, but the initial oh, couple this. of waves will be built around the hind. There you what go. So this? there's there's an idea. <laughs> not quite to scale. No, not, not quite. Why did you So okay, so speaking of like yeah you can't army build four hundred dollars uh four hundred dollar tanks yeah you're right yeah uh, yes. nor, nor should you though nor should you be army building six inch uh tanks though but and we had um invincible toys on two weeks ago three weeks i don't remember but they he argued uh, uh landon argued hey if you're gonna make something that large it needs to have like a playset function like the whale is a playset right the cobra bug is also a playset um, and I was like, oh, man, you're right on the money. Like, if you Good go point. big HasLab, make a big yeah. play set, right? You chose the Hind D, which is an attack aircraft, but also a transport, right? Yeah. Okay. So why why choose that Russian Cold War uh, variant helicopter as well, opposed it, to, like, an Apache? Right. Well, we, we uh, like, That's it sense. still is being used to this day. Yeah, uh, is, yeah. the hind and it's used by tons of countries there's so many different variations you know the m the p the whatever they even have an environmental sensing variant and all of this stuff for m so the reason why we went with the hind is because when you'll see in the comic book it's going to be right bang right there as a, right. a very uh, important element of retrograde getting them in and out of hot zones of so it it just became the the priority really um, and I have been, the, the Hind has been my favorite military vehicle amongst all, oh, you know, really? air, huh. aircraft, land, everything since I first spotted it. I think I was 12 when my buddy had a Soldier of Fortune magazine and had a special on the Afghanistan war, uh, Afghanistan war in there. And it was just like, what is this thing? It's beautiful. It's so ugly. It's beautiful, right? <laughs> it is, yeah. You know, with that camelback kind of uh, cockpit and all that stuff, the big crazy wings and just, wow. So, um, yeah, it's going to be very hard to sculpt. We're, we've got a guy going on it right now. He seems optimistic and um, we shall see. He thinks he can get it done in 10 weeks, but I... I highly disagree because we want to really get it dialed. We want to have some features. I'd love it if the wheels could all pop out like with the Sky Striker, but that'll be oh, yeah. kind of difficult, huh. right? That's very cool. Hey, what's up, yeah. Dolph? You're not late as long as you show up. It's all that counts, man. It's all that counts. <laughs> oh. Because it's dope, yep. Starboy Station still doesn't have any O-rings. There's a lot really? to choose from nowadays, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of lines out there, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so, yeah. Six inch figures uh, have been around 40 years. I'm continuing to call them a fat. <laughs> uh. I, I, I like, uh, so honestly, like I like both. And what's funny is I, I've heard a lot of people say like, we're grownups now, so we have bigger hands. So a six inch figure is proportionate to when we were smaller and four inch, but my right. six year old, yeah, he's still six, he's about to turn seven, um, is very tiny and he loves six inch. So I was like, well, there goes that theory. I have no idea. Right. right? So, right. Um, I like, I have some, I have some beefs with six inch like they're they're harder to really articulate a lot of the stuff is kind of jammy you know the the knees and the elbows you're not sure if things like i buy you know uh classified as well as marvel legends and, and a few other brands that i'm looking forward to that are coming they're they're a bit tight um sometimes they're too many accessories and they fall off as you play with it and different yeah, things yeah, yeah. Uh, 
but I guess, you know, the same could be said when you take these out, you know, there's a few accessories that will fall off if you're farting around with them as well. I, I would absolutely argue that same thing. Like the, some of the last GI Joe modern waves were just nothing but accessories. Like there was a ninja, there was a <coughs> snake eyes and storm shadow uh, a few years ago they put out and I was like, good Lord, there's so many tiny little like daggers yeah. and throwing stars. Was like all oh, this crap's going to get lost, man. There's no way. And there's nowhere to put them either. So you just have this like pile of stuff. I'm like, what is this? Right. Um, mm. an ICBM launcher. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. called the rolling thunder. Yeah, yeah exactly. Go. Right. We'll it's just yeah. to deal with. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So put on pose. Well, all right. Fair enough. Um, man, everyone's bashed on six inch here. Oh, lack of play sets. Even if they don't. So, so that's the thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. I see. I, I love, there's always the whole 118 versus 112 thing. Here's the thing, right? I might be a GI Joe person, but I'm also a Transformers person. Oh, if you're you a go. Transformer collector, just throw scale out the window. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like when I, I told that sob story about how I didn't get Glenda last year. Dom, were you at dinner when I was trying to mull over at, at the burger shack when I was trying to mull no. over? You were, you, maybe <laughs> no, you were no, at no. dinner, but you were across the table. Like, yeah, yeah, I think from so. me, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was trying to like ask some of the, some of the people there, like, should I buy this Glenda figure? And when I didn't get the the O ring Glenda figure, and they announced it as part of the Dragonfly, I'm going, oh okay, well I'll get it in part of as part of Classified. People are like, yeah. it's not the same thing. I'm like, I'm a Transformers person. I I understand scale. Scale matters to me. Yeah, yeah. But I will collect multiple scales because yeah. it's scale went out the window when I when I said I like Transformers. You know what I mean? I th so I think for play sets wise for um, six inch figures, a lot of it's like do your own. So I'm big into Mythic Legions, right? And if you go to yes. Legion Con. They have tons of just these super talented artists making dio backgrounds oh yeah making uh, elaborate castles and towers and all this stuff too so like i think it's wow. just like you know you got to figure out your own place that's unfortunately for six inch but would and you they'll be at joe fest oh yeah that's right i forgot about that yeah. so um, it's funny when i was looking at the at the floor map for joe fest right what's marked as the center aisle right has, oh how's it going um four horsemen super seven Skeletron and Marauder are going to be right down that center aisle. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. awesome. We hey, Adam, how's it going? Sales. Yeah. Um, also, Adam, awesome that you got to be on an interview with. Uh, I keep lit mixing up all of Dan's new names. Secret Galaxy Toy Galaxy. Secret Dan Galaxy yeah. Super awesome. I have. I, I, I think I owe. I think I owe Adam a, a beer. We we made a bet a while ago. Whoever gets on the stream with Secret Galaxy first. <laughs> um, Owes the other one a beer. I don't know if that means on your channel itself, but he went to that channel, which probably is even better for him in terms that's of exposure. Awesome. So, you know, I think that's, I think I owe him two beers <laughs> for uh, doing that. I, um, I, haven't, I haven't watched yet. Admittedly, it's saved. I, I haven't had time for streams, but really cool you were able to get on there. I saw your face yeah. and I was like, that. I know yeah. that guy. Yeah, that's Dan Larson, but I know that guy too. Like, so that was really cool. And Jason was there and my case was there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I saw part of that stream. It's, you know, yeah. A walked did really well, so yeah, that's awesome. yeah. But Joe Fest is going to be stacked this year with with uh, with Mythic Legions, and Dan Larson will be there. So and A walk will be there. <laughs> besides besides setting up a booth there for you guys, because this is kind of like I, I realize how close we're to Joe Fest is like. Oh crap, we probably need to start talking more about Joe Fest. What else are you guys uh, looking forward to at Joe Fest? Like you just uh, named some of the some of the other vendors or whoever's going to be there. What else are you looking forward to for that? Well, as far as we go, like we'll be, we'll have one, ex we'll have one exclusive and then we'll have one reveal. So something new yes. that no one will have seen before, we'll be revealing it exclusively there. It won't be for sale yet. It's, it's being uh, finalized. It's almost ready for tooling at the factory. Oh, so I'm, I'm not sure when it'll be ready. It's, it's going to be a uh, very unique figure. We'll just say it's going to be very different. Oh, from what okay. All right. Cool. All right. Yeah um or is it there is a power or is it a figure yeah there's power con um, we don't no there's no power con this year yeah um val pushed it off 2025 hey here's so by the way so i you know every, i'm sure everyone's like dumping like hey great ideas on you right but one of the one of the shortcomings i saw with the gi joe wave is that they are and this is my military nerd so i'm gonna go ahead and push my glasses here but if That's you've fine. got uh it's it's always like power and then some sort of counterbalance right so if you're making a hind hindy which is a yeah. very aggressive attack and uh troop transport helicopter you've got to have somebody on the good guys team with a stinker like you've got to balance those two things out there otherwise oh, yeah. game over yeah, yeah so like so you guys like when they brought out the his tank i was like okay now you've got to have some anti-tank or like a javelin it would have been a perfect 
add in to like give a gi joe javelin for the his tank but yeah yeah well that's that's why the delta troopers have all of these law rockets I know. Yeah. Right. they don't yeah. really play into the plot yet but when our when our wave 1.5 figure comes out uh which will be revealing at joe fest that's our reveal then it will make more sense oh, i'm excited about that that's awesome um, yeah, I love the end law just slapped on the on the sides of their uh, those two. It's like just a one shot. Oh no, that's not AT4 is a one shot. So yeah, the end laws are reload are reloadable. So there's um, the extra oh, rockets the on the back. Yep, so, there yeah. it is. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So um, yeah. what else? You, what else are you guys excited about for Joe Fest? Oh, for Joe Fest, you mean like with other people? Oh my goodness, there's so much there to to see and buy. And we may have to talk means. shop with some of the with some of the other O ring guys, right? Because you got to bear yeah. in mind, Skeletron is there. Call sign Longbow's there, you know. Uh, 3D Joe's is there. Hidden Force is there. Alpha Strike Force Alpha. There's gonna be a lot of O-ring dudes there, right? Nice. So, it'll be a lot of shop talk. I, I bet you, uh, is the way I, yeah. I look at it. And Dolph, oh. Dolph, I would love to do an Osprey. That would be a couple That's of years cool. out though, because we have a few things lined up in front of it. And a big shout out to Matt Comstock who made me some custom mugs. Oh, sent let's them take out. a look here. Oh, yeah. nice. They're wild, yeah. man. That guy's awesome. I, I'm hoping that he will be at Joe Fest. I think he will be. I think he yeah. will be. That's man, awesome. that, uh, that bad guy logo on the white. Hold the hold the first one. I'm not the retrograde. Yeah, that uh, that, that, one? that one on the white. Oh, that looks really good. That's yeah. so cool. Oh, that's cool. I love it. I love yeah, it. That's awesome. Man, love the swag. Um, Go Gusto. What's Gaz here? An attack version of... Delphina. Delphina. Oh. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Anti or team would be sick. See, yeah, put it out there. Put it out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have one guy that's that's written up to be that. I don't know if he'll be in wave two though, but we do need him to be in wave two. But wave two is already so populated. I've, I've got, uh, I don't know, man. Like I've like wave one was twelve figures. Wave two, I'm hoping it'll be twelve for sure. I would love to do sixteen, but in reality, I've got at least thirty-five good ones on paper that are like, well, yeah, they're all important. I don't know what to do, right? What's the <clears throat> what's the lead time then for another wave? So, like, you everyone's just starting to receive wave one in hand now. So, what's like the lead time to delivery for wave two? Do you think? Oh, uh, if it's okay, so we we changed. We we got new sculptors now. Yeah, uh, they are apparently a bit faster. So that's good. I'm not saying anything about our previous sculptors. They were fantastic, beautiful work. Uh, just busy. They're really busy, yeah. right? So now we've got some dedicated guys that are Delta only. So that's that's amazing. Um, the factory is fantastic. We, they, we hand them the stuff. They hammer it right through their, uh, their, their design team, gets it all prepped up and tooled up for the factory. Uh, I would think minimum a year and a half till we see wave two okay that's not bad yeah yeah well that's because our our current bandwidth is occupied with things like the hind with things yeah. like the yeah, wave yeah. 1.5 figure um so that's why um it's going to be a little bit of time for the other stuff right and the comic book right do you right. find it uh do you find it already exhausting like you've got like the like okay people are getting this out i pushed that wave one oh crap we got to start thinking about wave two right now. Do you, or you, is, do you have any mental space for yourselves there? It's exciting. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. So it's, exciting. It's, it's extremely yeah. exhausting. I would say I try to do a 12 hour days, seven days a week if I can, and I'm still uh -huh. behind. But the thing is, it's easy. It's easy to draw people's attention away, right? Because what's going to happen probably by the summertime or the fall? I bet you anything Call Sign Longbow will be released by that point in time. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have said that Call Sign Longbow stuff integrates really well with Delta Seventeen. Now, oh, yeah, course, obviously, yeah. Longbow is more eight mid eighties, whereas this is more two thousand, uh, mm -hmm. like more modern. But um, <clears throat> there'll be something to occupy the O ring minds, uh, O ring sort of like space in that period of time. <laughs> They kind of tie yeah, you yeah, over yeah. to the next wave. Yeah. Right. Sheets. So, yeah. <laughs> Neil, no Neil, stop it. We're not doing and, bed and, sheets. And Neil would totally buy the bed sheets. He would sleep yeah. in Delta 17. He's one of the big super fans. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Merchandising. Um, yeah. So, so in your opinion, then the uh, the other O ring is out there help with the momentum. It's not really diluting your pool then. Oh, yeah. I mean, Skeletron and Longbow and Recall, we're like, we are so excited ourselves. Like, we're fans, you know, like, yeah. um, we, we're all we, helping each other. 
Yeah, yeah we, we do we do talk behind the curtain and are like, hey, you need a file for this, or you know, I know a good product design manager. You guys know any sculptors, et cetera, et cetera. We go back and forth quite That's a bit. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, it, it is nice. fulfillment center. Fulfillment center was the big one. Yeah, we're all jumping right. into the the same. Well, we'll see. That's all in the works. There's there's some things in the works that we can't talk about right now, but um, there's a fair amount of cooperation. You know, there is some competition as well, but. Um, like the only thing that makes me nervous, I, I love all these other lines. I love them and I'm yes. very excited about them and I went all in for all of them. And I'm, I'm looking forward to them greatly. I will put them up on my shelf just as proudly as I will my own. Uh, the only thing that makes me nervous is the concept that, let's say that we're working on something and they're working on something and it's basically oh, the sure. ideal, the ideal, the same thing. And we're both putting like seven grand yeah. into the tooling and all that stuff and then we bring them out we're like oh crap right yeah sorry yeah, about that's that. in, that's in, that's into the sculpting if anything yeah well, yeah oh yeah <laughs> the yeah you can have, cost a tiny bit more than that you can have <laughs> so, an ac accidental uh not copyright infringement but uh, like ip like oh crap like we did this we did an armored thing they did an armored thing or whatever so yeah yeah, yeah. We're, we're all sort of playing in the same sandbox we're in different Forced. corners a little yeah, bit yeah. like you know um like Longbow is more in the mid eighties, but mm -hmm. you know, Delta is sort of modern times. We're about, you know, 2015 or so, but we're still, we're still sort of reaching a little bit into the future and a little bit into the past as well. So we do touch a little bit on the eighties stuff. You know, the hind is basically an eighties bird, but it still is being used by so many countries to this day. And it's, you know, in different formats. Uh, so it's, it's difficult, right? And then Skeletron is kind of a little bit in the future, yeah. you know? So mm -hmm. this is what's interesting to you. So we talked to Bo from Morphonauts, Invincible Toys, Fist Toys. There was someone else that did a Kickstarter early on too. But anyways, they they all like kind of collaborate the same way you're discussing now. Like they, when one, like, I think Bo was like, hey, I'm about to start this. And he started talking to guys who previously launched Kickstarters and they share secrets. They share tips. I was like, that is awesome to hear that people who, you, you would think like you're going to take my money. You're doing the same scale. We're doing the same fans, but like this collaborative effort is always refreshing to hear that. It's not just toxic behind the scenes, right? Like, um, I, and so, it's great yeah. to hear this thing with this like type of community. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll comment that on that a little bit, right? Like certain things you're going to play close to the chest, right? Like I can't yeah, go yeah, to, yeah, like, I can't go to Ben Conway and basically say, open your finances to me. Having said that there's certain things like the hind, we played that very close to our chest. But there were certain things like when we go to like Joe Fest and we all see each other like that, you know, we're all shaking hands, we're all talking, we're looking at each other as paint masters. When I got the O ring and the four inch wolf uh, figures and the gyre wolf from Skeletron, I could just sit back and, and relax and just look at the figures as right. a fan and a consumer of the product. Right. And Steve has said it many times. We don't, I mean, yeah, you will look at anything with a critical eye, but we're not looking at it as a critical eye to improve our own product. You know what I mean? We're yeah. looking at it like, wow, I, I can just like this figure or, you know, I haven't had this problem yet, but dislike it, you know, and be yeah. done. I don't have to sit two, there and say, hey, Steve, that, yeah. you know, that, yeah. that, that leg didn't go up all the way, but, you know, if we change the T-hook around, it can kind of work. Uh, should, should the law rocket be up or should it be facing down? You know, we need to change the mechanism on this, that, or the other thing. Like, we don't have to do that. I can just throw, throw up that wolf figure and be happy with it right, right? Yep. and um if we were in a situation where we could churn out waves the way gi joe did in the 80s you know oh here's, boy here's 40 figures or 50 figures in the late 80s and we got another one coming in less than 12 months as soon as you're done buying those that's one thing but there could be a greater than 12 month gap between sure. yeah. our wave one and wave two and in that in in the in in that median gap if you if you suddenly get longbow call sign longbow stuff well you're filling that gap because a lot of yeah. people make their own joe verse a lot of people say i i will read your story i will buy your story having said that i'm going to make my own joe verse that's, that's and if a, yeah, and if, yeah. if if i want reznikov and his um and and his and the army builders from longbow to sort of like work with death sparrow and the thunder battalion and mix it all as this evil russian faction to go up against the october guard they're gonna go ahead and do that you know what yeah. i mean yeah. you know if somebody wants shadow dragon to sit in the co-pilot seat of the robo skull with the wolf they're gonna do that right yeah like as far as it goes like i'm i'm very competitive by nature but not in in the form that i want to do anything to harm 
anyone right. else. What I want to do is compete against Delta to make it better and better. And in the meantime, I'm hoping that whatever I'm working on, no one else just happens to be working on it, right? And, mm -hmm. and vice versa, because like, like Ken said, you know, we get to one day soon receive in the mail Longbow or Skeletron or, or Recall or Hidden Force or whatever, we get to receive it in the mail, open it, and that's that's the extent of our work is just to open the box. That's it. And it's so nice to be able to like, oh, these are cool and just be a kid again. With these, it's uh, I love them to death, but there's uh, there's a lot of sweat in them. You know, it's, yeah, it's yeah, almost, yeah. you almost get some PTSD looking at them sometimes. <clears throat> that's right. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or there's always the thing that you couldn't fix or couldn't change it just stuck there you're like oh that one thing yeah yeah you yeah. always have that yeah. like i know like, like that with the no. art yeah Steve yeah, yeah, is yeah. like that with the card art, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so like even last year at Joe Fest, right? Like the way we met Corey Cantaloupe, right? Because he's working for Skeletron now, right? He's technically working. I mean, that's not as direct of a competitor. They have a little bit of O-ring, but more four inch and more six inch. He was standing at our booth looking at our stuff with a big grin on his face because I don't think he knew anything about us. And he's like, I don't know what I'm looking at, but I really like it. Yeah, and we started talking, we started joking around. Marco Burns and Skeletron walked by. He had a big grin on his face, going, Wow, this is this is kind of interesting, you know. Carson, before he went to his panel um for Operation Recall and for the collecting the art of 3D Joes, he would stop and look at our stuff. And it's just like, okay, I need to buy these. They look really good now that I've seen the paint paint masters in person. And what did he do on day one of when this launched? Yeah. He bought an entire wave. That's awesome. literally yeah, yeah. right. That's very kind and of you know. So there, there's just a lot of that going on, right? And we're talking to Troy from Call Sign Longbow all the time. Yeah, that's good. Right? Because so. things can exist simultaneously, right? Like you can, and you can be a fan of more than one thing. I I, I feel like a lot of communities forget that. It's like, yeah. I can like Star Wars, but I can also like Star Trek, for example. I can like G.I. <laughs> Joe, but I can also like this, right? Like you're allowed to mix and match, right? Um, for sure. For when sure. it comes to sports, that's all out the window, though. If I keep looking <laughs> at my phone over there, it's because the, my my hockey team that I, that I cheer for is yeah. playing their 82nd game, and there's about to be a playoffs in the coming week. So that that's where there's a little bit of a difference but in the only world eh. <laughs> yeah i do me i do yeah. me right. will there ever be too many figures or having a line too large for collectors uh like collector fatigue basically uh, I don't well know. it's you know it's always possible we're our, our ultimate goal is to move not not beyond the collector so to speak but to to get kids back into toys and off of screens and all that stuff, you yeah. know, cause I have given a couple of these away, as I said, to children and they were, you know, children that I know that I don't, I don't want randomly go around giving away toys and candy to kids <laughs> just for a disclaimer, but a circle um, the block around schools, you know, nothing yeah, weird yeah. though. Yeah. yeah. Free puppies. Um, <laughs> but anyways, right. yeah. Anyways, uh, they love them. You know, it's, it's, I would love to see toys in the hands of kids again. I mean, yeah. Kids are fantastic. Like our our four kids are a little bit grown now. Our youngest is now 15. And, you know, me and my wife, we have that old couple syndrome where whenever we see a baby, we're like, oh, we want baby here. <laughs> Can we hold baby? Can we smell? Oh, it's so beautiful, you know. So I don't know. I just, we, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it, is, it is a difficult rope to walk because we want to keep, developing more and more and not slowing down but at the same time we have to expand our market just beyond uh, collectors because as yeah, far as yeah, collectors yeah. go how many of us are there is there five thousand is there ten thousand i don't know right uh but we would like to be a viable toy like that's that's kind of one of the things that i like about the o-ring is that it's, it's <laughs> yeah just, i love it yeah. sorry that's that's i love that comment yeah it's true <laughs> i love that comment um, you know, it, as far as the O-ring goes, it is like its own family of toy. You know, if you're to mm -hmm. hold up a modern of any kind, they're a little bit duller in appearance. They're a little bit, uh, they're, they're just different, so different, drastically different. So when you show these sometimes to kids, they're like, oh, wow, this is, you know, it's it's shiny like a Hot Wheels. So, uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll comment on that, right? Like, if you could flash yourself back to 1986 when you were standing in the toy aisle and you yeah. saw... Transformers here, G.I. Joe there, Motu over there, Mask over here, probably some leftover Star Wars from 85 and earlier, mm -hmm. right? You get into 87, you start getting into Brave Star, you get into the Visionaries, you know, you get a year later, you get into you know, Ninja Turtles and all that. Yeah. If, you know, A-Team is somewhere in there, there's so many, I, 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 I could keep going and not stop, right? If 
you could be back then. What 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 did you think when you when you were in that hoyal? If someone could say you can have it all, how how blissful would that feeling be? We're adults now. We're getting we're giving that selection to ourselves now as being in the toy maker space plus also supporting some of the larger companies, right? We'll we'll still never have it all, but it's nice to have all those options, right? It's just we yeah. as collectors now have to fill that gap um instead so that's just how i feel about it and there's a lot of people i know who say they admire mythic legion stuff from afar they yeah, don't buy it yeah. or they buy maybe only the ones that are motu homages that look good with their masterverse yep. collections yep, 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 yep. that's just um, that right i've had a couple people say they only do vintage they don't necessarily buy delta 17 yep. figures but they'll send the link to their friend and that there's a lot some, of need some army sub builders. niches that yeah you continue to right. appeal the toy collecting on you. what what i always would fall asleep to as a kid or i'd fall asleep to as a kid whenever I, especially after i got back from toys r us is those shopping sprees with the shopping cart and i would fall asleep at night thinking about what I would do grab and after just oh, visiting the yeah. stores like I gotta go here because that was a hang up here I gotta get six of those yeah. and then Jesus like that's where I'd fall asleep to um, yeah. so. <clears throat> what what are you guys doing awake it's almost 10 yeah, we, uh, we were in the shower for like an hour hey, an bad. hour do you know who these guys are these are the guys who made these figures Delta 17 figures oh, really yeah yeah these these guys yeah hey dudes yeah. I showed them your favorites and I showed them your favorites too so hey so yeah they're gonna be at Joe uh, Fest they are yeah Huh. All right, now get out of here because we're talking about toys and I want kids involved. Get out. <laughs> this is about toys. No. Can I roll some dice? You can't to touch these. Get out of here. How good I am. All right, good night. I, I got a five. That's not good enough. <laughs> nice. <Come on>. Nice. <laughs> huh? Delta five. Which four? Delta five. He's upstairs. Jackson, the Jackson five. Right. Right. No, but seriously, get out of here. No, but really get out of here, though. No, but honestly, go for your grounded. <laughs> oh, no. I, I didn't bring him down to show him. You want me to show him? I didn't know. All right. I still do. So I do this with my kids. Uh, my kid. Okay. My kids. Thanks. So, uh, so speaking of toys in kids' hands, right? So Finn mm -hmm. is. We've discovered the Fortnite figures before the game, and now that we've also discovered the game, it's just magnified that. That right. that is like whenever people are like, "Oh, kids don't like toys now." I'm like, dude, my kid goes to Walmart and hunts for for Fortnite figures. Like that yeah. formula works. It may not be the ones that we want right and i think that's always the mind frame that people there's, there's no more toys out there i'm like there are um right. they're just not what you want like finn loves roblox too i i do not like roblox <laughs> i'm mm. like get these out of here so um, yeah yeah no i think if, if it's the right toy go ahead you know all if right, it's I'll the right toy you can definitely catch their eyes you can catch their imagination and all that sort of stuff but it you know it's it, it is difficult now i mean you know if you think about hasbro i mean they back in the day there was only three to five channels on the tv so you were right, bound, right, right. you were right, bound right, to see gi joe right yep. and their their distribution network was incredible for their comics and for their toys every drugstore if it was a tiny drugstore you'd find yeah at least a couple of gi joes in there i i Amazing. have another theory we're almost at an hour here so i want to keep uh, this is a good topic actually and i'd love to have you guys circle back to come to this talk because i have a hard uh uh, uh controversial take on this that i think the 80s was too much i think it was too much like again when you described that aisle it wasn't just one aisle in toys R Us. it was like three or four of those aisles yeah. loaded with plastic and like right now as an adult i'm like this is too much like that's too much plastic that's why there's all these like yard sales still with like gi joe stuff right like how right. many of those were lost? like so i think it's it was too much but that's my take on it and like you just said too steve like we were inundated with commercials all the time like buy it mm. buy it buy it buy it right so um, but there could be counterpoints for ads on like what my kids watch on YouTube equally now. It's just, you know, their algorithm has changed. Uh, so, right. But, but, uh, but yeah, man, I, I'd also argue that Steve, your, your ambition to get toys back in the kids is amazing. It also falls not on the distributors or the creators, but on the parents to also like sit down and be like, Hey man, this is a GI Joe. Let's go play with GI Joe. It's like, yeah, I saw two collectors a while back being like, Oh, I'd never let my kids touch my toys. I'm like, then they die with you <laughs> because if you don't let them share and play with them, like their toys, yeah, right. that's it. They will never appreciate those things. They're like my dad's collections at his house. I'm like, dad, this cool, this stuff is cool to you. I don't want any of this stuff. Right. It's not right. like I'm into these. Do, do you ever worry about losing accessories or do you just hand them the figure and then just worry okay. about the accessories later? All right. I, that is the, like the number one question I get asked whenever I take stuff outside. Everyone's like, Oh my God, my OCD. I'm like, first of all, <laughs> 
I don't know who goes outside with the toys like this. Like, oh, going outside. I'm going outside with my action figures. Like, like, like I'm like, I'm going out there with them in a tray or something. I set them down, right? With my kids, um, it's all about control of like, okay, make sure he's got his weapon. Pick him up. Okay, we're about to go to the other side of the yard now. Everyone got there. It's like Steve. When you yeah. do a freaking accountability check on your weapons, like I got all my nods, sense of items, okay, I'm ready to roll. It's the same thing. We just do a quick check. We pick up when it goes somewhere else in the yard. And like every now and then we lose stuff because things are heated or like, you know, something dropped or whatever like that. I, I don't sweat it. Like if I lose a couple rifles or a helmet, I don't care. I just swap it out and give somebody else something else. Like it doesn't stress me out. But okay, I enough. always get asked, like, don't you lose stuff? I'm like, yeah, sometimes. But the fun we have out there yeah. proportionally out well in a way outweighs like the three or four things that were actually lost. So okay. Yeah, if you, if you think about it, you're paying what two bucks for that hour of play or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you know? yeah. So <laughs> what? You know, try doing that in the mall yeah, yeah. or wherever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, here we go. I don't get that. St- Sticking hoop. Ah, oh, these kids with their stick in their hoops, man. They ruin their <laughs> attention spans. Yeah. So um nice. those were the days. I you know, yes, but also no. Like I this could this is a whole nother tangent. I don't want to go down this road. Yeah. Right now, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is this is a good topic to be able to discuss too. Like the pros and cons of nostalgia and the pros and cons of like then versus now. You know what I mean? Like right. for comparison, there's Amazon now or Delta 17s uh, online that I can just go and click. Like that is a huge thing. That's a benefit from now. So anyways, anyways. All right. Um, okay. So I didn't answer what I'm most excited about for Joe Fest. One, I, there's a lot of people that are here in this chat. You two, other people already talked to that. Some, you know, I never met a lot of you. IRL, as the kids say, before going to Joe Fest. So it's really cool that I met yeah. people there, have met people along the way. And like, it's like this culmination of all these people there. That's that's going to be really cool. Like from like Scuba Pete, James, like there's just all of these people out there that yes. I was like, that's going to be really neat. Um, and second, I'm looking forward to Marauders. <laughs> like I'm just, anything I sell, any money I make at all from any of the stuff I'm bringing, I'm going to go right to the Marauders booth and be like, hello. Here's all my sales from today. I'm giving them directly yeah. to you because yeah. I want to buy more and more Marauder stuff. Like, right? Um, yeah, they're amazing. they're amazing. I love them. Love them. Love them. Love them. Yeah. Because because yeah. again, like I'm not tied to really any IP. I just want figures to be able to mix in and like do stuff with. So mm-hmm. um, they just scratch the edge so much. So love them. Oh yeah, I know. I didn't miss you at Legion's Con too, uh, Sig. It's crazy. Also, I I would be remiss not to show off what Finn interrupted the show for. This is his new Fortnite figure. It That's is cool. so loud. It's crazy. <laughs> he, he's uh, Finn is uh, he he loves the crazier the better. Like when we actually yeah. play Fortnite, he's like, Dad, get that banana. I'm like, I don't want to get the banana. I want to get the med pack. Get the banana. It's sillier. I'm like, okay, fair point. So I like the, you know what I mean? He's great. I love I just I, I would never predict the stuff that he picks, but yeah. it's like this is and we play side by side. Like, here's actually I've got the, the trooper here. These yeah. dudes are probably gonna go at it tomorrow. Like, I'm I'm really nice. I love it so. Nice. Uh, Did you yeah. paint that one or what? No, no, that's how it came. It came oh. all good. We went to a, we have a toy and comic shop in the area yeah. and they have, uh, they have vintage stuff, you know, anything that people resell there too. So yeah, it's all just crazy. Uh, crazy. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. clashing, but it's clashing thin. It Those is. colors yeah. don't go together. It's all right. It's all right. When you're, you know, this is what I wear when I go around around the battle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get your rollerblades um, on and go. The Fortnite figures are pretty fun. The, the articulation is kind of all over the place sometimes, and they're they're soft, but they're so much fun, dude. My, my again, Finn loves those things, man. So, uh, but cool. Nice. But hey, we're we're at an hour here, Ken. I know you got a hard stop, right? Uh, you know what? Um, dinner hasn't actually arrived. <laughs> oh wow! It's supposed to be uh, nice. Uber, but I I might do it just just a cold drop off depending when it arrives. So it wasn't actually <laughs> as hard a stop as I thought it was. It was a hard stop, and then it wasn't. So yeah uh, okay now it's a soft stop <laughs> now it's a yeah. soft stop yeah. all right well i i don't want to hold everybody hostage here so is there something burning something else you guys want to talk about um because honestly it's been a good conversation it's always good to end on a high note but there's something else that we missed something else you want to say like we can keep going what do you got well no i i mean we just hope that the comic will come out pretty soon you know uh, hopefully a month and a half well about two months in time for joe fest would be perfect that's, oh yeah that's the awesome. goal I think when people see it, they read it, they'll fall in love with these these characters, you know, because that's that's a, that was a great thing about G.I. Joe. I mean, you know, if you look at, at a guy like Shipwreck, there wasn't much to him as a figure, but as a character, he was incredible. Everyone fell in love with him, right? 
So that's what we're trying to bring to life here through our media. And uh, yeah, absolutely. We hope people really enjoy it. And we, we know they'll enjoy our special wave 1.5 figure. They'll get a kick out of that. That's awesome. I, I undervalued, I undervalued the media influence on action figures because again, we were so saturated by it, but yeah. we've been watching X-Men 97, which yes, I, I hate how good it is because I don't like nostalgia polls, straight nostalgia polls where it's like X-Men 97. I'm like, man, yeah. you were, that is the only thing you're trying to do, but God, did they do such a good job? That with episode that. last night. So my so my wife is like very like on the nerd spectrum. She's mm. very very small in it, right? And she married me, but she really loves. She's like, I love this show. I'm like, dang it, it's wow. so good. Wow. But what the influence does is, I have almost all the X Men and Marvel Legends. So now when the boys come downstairs, I'm like, wait, this is Beast. Like they under, it's like all <laughs> connecting with them now. Yeah. I'm like, dude, yeah. I'm. I made a pretty good Hank McCoy imitation before. It's like, yeah, but dad, but I didn't get it. So like, yeah. like it is, it's like all of a sudden the X-Men toys in my collection are like on bright highlights. Like, whoa, yeah. that's more And like they run over to it. I'm like, man, that is the power of media. Like it just oh, like yeah. instantly connected them to what we have. So yeah. Yeah. Prior to that beast was a blue guy that looked. Yeah, yeah exactly. Cool, like a furry. Right? Eight, and in the sixties, yeah, like, he wasn't even yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just big feet and hands, right? So yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's yes, love seeing Nightcrawler. Also in mm -hmm. the uh yeah, in the intro, I I like looked away for a second and Tristan was like, Dad, the blue demon guy was in there. I was like, Blue demon guy, do you mean Nightcrawler? He's like, Yeah, and I went back. His logo was cool too. How they mm -hmm. I, again, I hate the nostalgia pull they're doing, but they're doing it so damn well. But like where's the, Colossus, you know, we need Colossus. I know. Great. Yeah, uh, but they're doing so many cool cameos and like throwing every like every time they show people on there, I'm like, I know who that is. I know who that is. I know Dazzler. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because I'm like a yeah. huge X Men fan. So I'm like, oh, oh yeah, uh, they're killing it though. I I love it. So um, I guess we're gonna talk about X Men '97 now. So Titan for Domination yeah. X Men '97. That's fine. Like, <laughs> That's fine. Um, That's fine by me. Check out the Toy Connections retrospective on X Men: The Animated Series from last month. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, I did not. I missed that entirely, Ken. So I'm actually glad yeah, you put because I will. History well of X Men as told by me. So, there oh, go. very cool. Um, mm -hmm. So I I have a lot of Claremont and a lot of '90s and '80s X Men here. Like some, I think I started picking up or like the eight eight one eighty, and then I went four into the four hundreds there. So I have nice. most of that run. Yeah. So when the show started coming up, I was like, wait, wait. And I actually went back and leafed through. I was like, oh, they mixed these two stories together, right. but. Like the the try the giant sentinel is like way later on with Sandra Nova, but they brought it in here. I was like, I don't care. This is awesome. Like wait a minute, yeah. those two storylines together, like so good. Nice. So. Yeah, I'm behind on two of the episodes right now, but um, oh, okay. Spoilers: yeah. everybody dies. Um, everybody <laughs> yeah, is not a mutant, yeah. and everybody you know, right. everybody's a Cylon. Magneto oh, does a nice. thing that pisses yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, there's yeah. a shocker. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's totally yeah. it's really solid. Here, like, Dom, let's talk about this. Oh, there you go. Yeah, what you got? This is the Gridiron Studios um, Gun Throne that they have. It's thirty dollars US, right, for a one eighteen scale one. And I show this to Steve, and I'm like, "What do you think?" He's like, "I think that looks good with Shadow Dragon." It's like, so there you go, oh, another yeah. item made Beautiful. by one of our peers. Yeah, very. You cool. know, it kind of works. You know, you throw a bunch of Okami uh, robot ninjas around him and Jaguar, his personal assassin, mm. and there you go. Like you put this in his in in his lair or his throne room or whatever we've got. That's um, cool. Cooking up, and that's his. That's how it goes. So. Uh, we love the robot ninjas. By the way, we did snap one of the pegs in the back because they grabbed. I think we had a sword plugged in or something and popped off. But other than oh, that, like, uh, we've been swapping those blades and hands out and submachine yeah. gun interchangeably a lot. So okay, um, so yeah. one of the little hand pegs, eh? Yeah, on the yeah. backpack. But but honestly, like. Uh, I think we we're being rough with it. You know what I mean? Like they just kind of bent down instead of pulling out. So I was like, hey, oh yeah, yeah. Um, I but, bent uh, by but, Wookie, says Ralph. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> those are those ninja ones are really fun. Like really, really fun. Actually, that was another one that I was like, I'll get this because Finn likes ninjas, and I was like, I really like this character. It's a cool ninja. Like, <laughs> yeah. The accessories, like right. Um, did Inferno in one episode. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I do feel like they're shoving 40 years of X-Men you know, into a very condensed timeline. But 
I don't know. Maybe they don't know how long this is going to last also, right? So maybe they're just like, hey, let's just bang out a bunch of known hits and then we'll right. get to whatever later on, you know? So Yeah, like they, didn't they do like that Genosha thing as like a 10-minute segment pretty much? And it was yeah. like, no, no, the whole Genosha thing, that should be like four episodes at least, right? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. That's not, and yeah, exactly. It was a different team and blah, blah, blah. But yeah. um, it was also so heavily anime styled i love that breakaway it was just so manga-ish and like there was even mm. moments where there was no uh Sorry, music my camera just, my camera's being stupid just just keep back, going it was it was solid it was such a good suit uh, back to x-men i guess but yeah they're totally solid uh really good um but anyways anyways um what you guys got any other pickups you want to show off oh I'm a oh, big fan right. of. Okay, all right, here we go. Over there, but the I might have a photo. The tick. Who made this one? Fresh this monkey. One? Fresh monkey fiction just put oh, these out. They just nice. came in. So that's Barry from comic <laughs> number eleven. I think oh, he's God. the guy who has the original tick name. So he fights mm. the tick. Oh, and Allison, what's up? Oh, very cool, man. I would not have expected you to be a tick fan. This is oh, great. I love yeah, the tick. this is great. Oh man. Yeah, Spoon. Awesome. Spoon. I really loved uh I was introduced to it when they brought out the animated cartoon out and my buddy was like this is a comic book I was like what are you serious and we went yeah. back like I, I don't remember where we were thumbing through boxes like here it is I'm like no kidding man so oh yeah no I, I I bumped into it in issue one I picked it up and it was the funniest thing I've read in my entire life to this yeah. day right <laughs> it was just so bizarre so I became the it biggest is. tick fan that's great dude all right, Ken, what do you... Uh... Oh, I saw this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. So it's a Gridiron Studios loadout for yep. classified fridge. Uh, my friend Peter did some paint on the torso and the legs to get the original colors of the fridge. And then I put the loadout from Gridiron Studios yep. on. And there you go. You've got this, uh, this particular uh, G.I. Joe classified scaled item because the odds of William the Refrigerator Perry actually loaning out his likeness and his rights not very high given that he's only ever had that one figure in 1987 mm. so this is probably your best bet right then you get a helmet so you don't need to show his face there you throw another you know marvel legends or maybe a roadblock um head swap on there and you're good to go so. that's awesome i did see i did see that one man that's a really cool comment on, on ig yeah you're a big uh you're a big gridiron studios fan huh I mean, there's a few folks I know who get a lot more of their stuff. When Sweeney, I when I Ryan go Sweeney. in, <laughs> Ryan Sweeney, Tony uh, from uh, um, Tony's Figs, yeah, um, yeah, to Anthony Romo there. Um, he he's big into it. Travis from Toy Kind of Mood, KJ from Toy Kind of Mood, and yeah, yeah, yeah. slash slash Black Genghis because he's got his own his own channel now. There's a lot of those dudes who are really big into gridiron, right? When I go into it, I show you exactly what I have, and you know exactly right, right, what right. I have. They have a lot of other stuff they're just sitting in kits somewhere that they're thinking to use later. It's really cool. So. They're really good quality. It's really clever. Um, Cobra exclusive collector, but Delta oh. 17 have me seriously considering a new line. Go check out the Thanks, site, Justin. man. They're available Thank right you. now, so go check it out. Um, we won't I, disappoint you. Cobra. Okay. All right. All right. I don't have... Uh, I don't have what you got, but I, I did have something I was going to show tonight. Hold on. I also didn't set up my camera for this either. So I, I um speaking of Cobra, there were these packs that came out. I don't remember a Toys R Us for Vipers, right? Oh, and, yeah. Uh, I got on. that one here. Still in the package. The, yeah, the six packs, right? So the O-ring, speaking of O-ring, right? So they had this little, it was like a Night Watch variant or something like that. He has yeah, I got that one right here. Oh, yeah, he's pretty neat, right? And then they had the standard blue that also came out in a six-pack, too. Nice. Uh, what was interesting is they actually added diverse skin tones to this one as well, too, right? So I was like, these are pretty cool. I don't have any of the old troopers anymore. So back in the day, I may have gotten uh, one or two of them. Wow. Um, so I have you know, this. Wow. But uh, recently, I yeah, it's like four or, four or five packs, I think. So um, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these troopers, man. I, I have no idea. But... Judge Joberg just said, hey, we're doing all that Chloe Lab. And I missed last year's announcement. So as soon as I said that, I was like, I know exactly what I'm going to do with all these Viper or Troopers right now. And I'm absolutely going to put all these in for the G.I. Joberg thing. I'm totally going to go in on this year. So nice. I'm excited about that. So I'm holding sure. on to these guys. They're not being purged yet. Um, I'm going to hold on to them. So that's not really a what you got. It was more of like a rediscovery of like, oh, yeah, I've got all these freaking Troopers lying around. So, yeah, those guys oh, yeah. are cool they're pretty they're really fun man and if i was more yeah. 
into just G.I. Joe Pure. I, I like uh, I'd, I'd hold on to them. I have a ton of the Viper 86s. I think I have like 25 of those of the Viper 86 wow. style. And I love that. I love that style. I love the uniform. I love like the weird motorcycle helmet, all of it. So yeah. um, that's like my Viper. So I'm like, I don't want these goofy troopers, man. So mm. uh, the, yeah, the ninjas, if you're talking about Delta 17, yes, the ninjas are pretty cool. Well, thank so. you. Cool. Um, guys, I think uh, I think that's good, man. I think we've uh, I think we've won toys for the night. <laughs> Hit all the talking points at least. Yeah, you know that toys, I was. Man. Yeah. Hey, thanks for everybody in the chat. Thanks for everybody who watches these uh, posts. We get a lot of rewatches for these. I always appreciate you coming back and commenting on those. Hit me up on G. Uh, be sure to go check out Delta Seventeen store oh, which is choice. up right now be yeah. sure to go check out their ig and if bjorn for god's sakes if you're going to joe fest swing by their table maybe hold off and buy anything until you actually go to joe fest table so um ken steve you got any last plugs here before we head out can buy you some toys <laughs> yeah. buy some toys you can find me on my own channel i guess where i talk delta 17 and other stuff so there you go yeah and uh yeah come by uh delta 17 toys.com if you order six or more there's a 10 percent off discount code and it's delta 10 off so the 10 is the number 10 of course and uh no capitals and that'll give you 10 percent off so that was the best way we could think of doing with uh bundles and army builder packs and all that stuff so awesome yeah that's the one there great go check them out guys hey um great having you guys on always awesome catching up and i can't wait to see you guys when we actually go live at joe fest yeah that'd be sweet yeah, there cool. we go all right dude we'll see you thanks everyone in the chat see you next time